Okay everybody, welcome to another assembly programming tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to change how we do things a little bit. And instead of um, writing straight up assembly code, we're going to write C code and disassemble the C program to understand how the assembly part of the C program is working. Um, it's just a better way to learn it. Okay, so we're going to go straight ahead to uh, programming and write a simple um, C++ program and I'll show you how to use this software called Object Dump to disassemble a C++ program. So let's get started. Uh, here let's just write um, assembly source uh, C++ program that does nothing essentially. It just returns um, it returns 255. I don't know why I picked that number. Okay, I'm going to save this as ASM1.c. And now I'm going to go to the compile, to the terminal, go to my directory, and list all the files, my C file right there. I'm going to go ahead and compile this PCC. My output is going to be ASM1 the name of the program and my input file is going to be asm1.c and compile and it should compile successfully no errors okay and if we run this program we see that it does nothing because it just exits immediately okay so let's show you how to disassemble this program and see its assembly source fo source code um, so that's going to be object dump and we're using flag D to disassemble it flag M to indicate what type of syntax we want in this case we want Intel because it looks better and it's easier to read and um, the, the actual file that we want to disassemble which is this file up here and then we hit enter and now the source file, the ex executable file is now disassembled and it's one long output and here's where we type the message all the way to the bottom um, as you can see there's a whole bunch of symbols here we want to look for main there's main over here we want to look for main and there it is so what's going on here? Well. With, you see we get the, and this is the entire function, when you write this this is the equivalence assembly output so here is the exact same thing as here and what this does over here, I'll just explain briefly um, is going to be, uh, we're going to save the caller um, the caller's base pointer which is going to be in this case whoever called main which is going to be the operating system called main. We're going to save the operating system's base pointer. We're going to create a new base pointer by using the value on the current stack. And this is to ensure that. Um, oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not. Uh, this uh, hexadecimal number, 55, 255, is the exact same thing over here. And what we're doing is taking this 255 and putting it into uh, EAX, the accumulation buffer, um, and what that, uh, I'm sorry, register. And what this does, uh, accumulation buffer is usually used for uh, count, not counting, saving results and accumulating data. Um, and so usually when you make function calls, especially system function calls, um, they AX register is always used for return values and so that's the same thing that we're doing over here we're putting uh, 255 into eight, uh, EAX register and then returning that value and who are we returning this value to? we're returning it to the operating system operating system and so that's what's going on there so that's a basic introduction to disassembling programs uh, with object dump and learning assembly through this process. 
I'll be making more tutorials um, regarding this and I'll be using this from now on. Okay, till next time. Thank you.